In today's video, we will focus on jetbooking functionality and the new features added to the recent plugins version. Stay tuned to learn more about selecting predefined additional booking services and calculating the total price considering the input number of guests and ordered services. As always, make sure you are subscribed if you haven't done so, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And this is Julia from Crocoblock, and now let's get started. Starting from 3.0, Jetbooking was integrated with the WooCommerce plugin and activation of the WooCommerce-based mode made it much more flexible to configure seasonal and special prices and add extra products and services. We decided to bring it to the next level and add a couple of awesome features. Before we proceed, let me remind you of the WooCommerce-based mode. This mode combines the benefits of the JetBooking and WooCommerce plugins, in particular all booking data, basic price, rates, seasonal prices are taken from the booking-related meta fields and you can use WooCommerce available fields. By the way, we have a detailed video on how to create bookings with WooCommerce, so don't hesitate to check it out. Once it's selected as a booking mode in the settings, you can create jet booking products and add WooCommerce attributes to them. There will be a new setting called Type with a booking service option on the Attributes page. Since I have a rental website, let me add a service and call it Wellness Facilities. Once added, there will be this Configure Terms option to add the needed additional services that the user will select on the front end when booking a product. The attribute term page has a name, slug, description, and there will be a couple of new options. Service cost, a field for price, cost format, a text field that has a string by default for customizing the field output where a string value will be replaced by the service price. The next two options when activated will multiply cost by guest count and by booking days count. So once the number of guests and days is picked, the service cost will be multiplied automatically. I will proceed by adding two attribute terms, spa and a fitness center. Multiply cost by guest count and everyday service options will be checked for both terms. Each attribute data can be changed and once you add the attribute to the product, the total number of products with this attribute will be displayed in the count column. Be aware that deleting the attribute also deletes its terms and all the data. In addition, I will add one more attribute and such terms as breakfast, a room service, and a tourist guide. For the second term, I will tick only everyday service checkbox, since the number of guests does not affect this service. As for the last term, both options stay unchecked. Now to add the attribute to the product, I will go to product, Change the product type to Jet Booking Product and proceed to Attributes to select the services. A quick note here. If it is set to a simple product, a WooCommerce attributes will be still available. However, the services as well as the booking functionality won't be displayed on the front end. The same goes for the attributes that are not of the booking service type. You might have two types of products listed on your website, let's say real estate and clothing. These two types, of course, will have different attributes and obviously they cannot be applied to both types. 
If you have an attribute that is not a booking service one, select it for the Jet Booking product. It simply won't be listed among the services. So the Jet Booking product is selected. The needed attributes are added. Now I'm going to click Update. And here is the front end view. Now there is a date picker field as well as the rest of the services. The total cost will be displayed once you select the check-in and the check-out dates. For example, I will select one night next month and it will cost $200. Then I will add breakfast and the total sum is calculated automatically. Now compare the new booking form with the one of the previous plugins version. And we're not even done here. So what about that cool multiply feature? Uh, let me pick two nights this time. Now we have 400. Once additional services are added, the true magic happens. Now the fitness center costs $30 because it has a multiply cost by booking days option activated. As well as room service cost is now also multiplied by 2, which gives 20 extra dollars and in total we have 450 now. For the tourist guide, I have multiplied by booking days turned off. In total, it's 470. But let's say you want a user to be able to select the number of guests. Don't worry, we've got you covered with this one. Let's get back to the backend. In the product data section, you will find this new option called has guests. So tick the checkbox. And in the guest tab, specify the minimum and the maximum guest number. For now, let's update the product and check the front end. Now we have one more field for picking how many guests you want to book this product for. I will select two guests and two nights again. And we will still have the same cost for 100. Now it's up to you if you want to multiply it or if the cost is not affected by the guest's number. If you choose the first option, you just have to make sure that the multiply cost by guest count checkbox right here is enabled. So two nights or two guests will cost 800. As for the services, the ones that have the same multiplying option enabled in the attribute terms settings are multiplied by guest number as well. For instance, here is the breakfast term that is an everyday service, meaning the service cost is multiplied by the booking days count and also multiplied by guest count. $60 is added because now we have two guests and two nights selected. I will also add a fitness center, book this cottage, and let's proceed to the cart. Here you will find the booking data that includes the selected services and the multiply count, as well as guest number and the check-in check-out dates. To check the booked product, navigate to the bookings dashboard. Here is the order I just placed, and of course, you can change its status, as well as add or remove the services. As you can see, we have the needed checkboxes ticked. So let's say your guest decided to have more services included, you can easily add them here. Order total cost will be recalculated. You can also create bookings right from the bookings dashboard by pressing the add a new button. Make sure to select a booking item first to be able to choose dates and services. The services available for this product will be pulled automatically. All you have to do is check the needed ones, enter billing details, and you're done. Also, you can observe the ordered booking instance in the calendar or timeline form by pressing the calendar or timeline button in the top right corner of the page. Each booking instance will have the appropriate WooCommerce orders, so the changes made in the bookings dashboard will be applied to the WooCommerce order as well. For now, the form itself lacks styling options. 
However, the main advantage that comes with the recent update is that to create bookings, you won't need any other plugins that can impact your site performance. These are all the new chat booking features. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this overview and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.